Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Crypto Summer Hiki and we are back with another episode of the Hidden Child Challenge. So in the last part, um Destiny kind of kind of had the morning to herself. And well, Victoria wasn't very pleased by that because anyone can see Victor because anyone can see Destiny and Des and, and Victoria is trying her very best to keep Destiny under wraps because nobody knows who she is. Nobody knows, you know, like <sighs> The only thing that they know is that this is Victoria's daughter. But the thing is, though, is that she kind of does have a little bit of Marcus Flex in her. So, no, so, so, so she definitely does not strike any resemblance to Aiden and very little resemblance to Victoria. I mean, if anything of most, she basically, she basically just came out, you know, looking like I don't even know. I don't even know how to say it, but <laughs> she's very, but, but she's got a lot of Marcus's features and all that stuff. So she's kind of very, very much like, like Marcus. And despite how upset Victoria is with Miss Destiny, she does have a bit of a surprise for her. Do I see what these are? Destiny is actually going to take a look at them. They are prom tickets. So... I'm actually going to go ahead here and see if we can actually rotate and see if we can get the whim to do it. But she's like, you know, it's like this is only like a once in a, you know, a once in a lifetime chance. And Destiny, I really do want you to get the opportunity because these are very important. And, Dest and you know, and Destiny is excited and she's texting and she's, you know, and she's, she is actually uber excited about this because this is going to be something that is going to change her entire world for her and that and and then for one she's actually going to be kind of blending in with her siblings so you know it just this is something that she wants to do so the prom is tomorrow and and that means destiny has really next to no time to get ready so excuse me here the guys so it's gonna be super exciting there guys because Destiny is just she's actually kind of hyped for this now because Well, I mean Victoria's just kind of talking it up, you know, it's like I mean you can find your prince and You know, I mean for all you know, it could be a little frog Hopefully he ages up um, But definitely something that Victoria wants to do though and something that, well, something that Destiny really wants her to do. And so, she's really like, okay, look there, darling. I'm going to go, and I'm going to go take care of my garden. You are such, you know, you are, you know, you are a good girl. And I hope that you go to your prom. Because this is something that's going to be a once. <gasps> oh. Oh, okay. Well, apparently, uh, he needs to be fed. So, we're going to go ahead. We're going to feed him before any accidents happen. Everybody's trying to get downstairs. Everyone is kind of kicked the door. Mortimer Goth is here. So, uh, as you guys all know, um, I believe Mortimer it was supposed... I'm pretty sure Mortimer was some sort of doctor in the past. I don't remember. A doctor or a scientist. And now he's on our case. So, uh, this is not good there, guys. <laughs> Mortimer Goth might be on to us. And, you know, the jig. We might be... We might be screwed. We might be really, really screwed. So, Aiden's going to go ahead, though, and he's going to try to, I don't know, um, see exactly what Mortimer Goff wants. So, we're going to go ahead, we're going to, I don't know what we're going to talk about. We're going to be friendly with him. We're going to discuss name, uh... Yeah, we're going. Yeah, we're going to go ahead. We're going to discuss neighborhood changes, and you know, and Mortimer Goff is just—he doesn't want that. He wants to know about the cow plant. He wants to know why the cow plant, you know, why you know why the living sins have such a violent cow plant, and why they haven't well uprooted her yet. And you know, and and, and it's just going to kind of go on and kind of defend the cow plant, you know, and just kind of say, well, look. Bethany is is my wife's pride and joy. I mean, like, I can't really ask her to take that away. I mean, it's basically like a shiny card to her. 
It's very important to her, and we can't, and you know, and and, and he can't just take that away. The baby is now crying, so she's going to go ahead and take care of the baby. Kua, I don't, I don't want you to kua it. Oh, and also well too, there, guys. I also well got the cribs again. I said to get cribs again because I like cribs. <laughs> Um, I don't, I don't know what he needs. Cooing only seems to work when they're actually in a good mood. I don't know what's wrong with the baby. But basically right now, Aiden is just kind of playing this polo thing off. And he's like, Mortimer, buddy, come on. Like, I mean... Which Mortimer just kind of knocks him off, pretty much. Okay, clearly, he doesn't have a poopy diaper, otherwise he wouldn't be crying. She is clearly just not thinking right, but... Let's go ahead and let's actually try to feed the baby! And look at that, that fixed the whole problem, okay. Can the baby stop crying? We're all good now, that on that, on that... On that area. Please don't pet the freaking cow. Okay, no, you're gonna go ahead and go play with it. Why the heck is the goth family- The goths? Nobody told me we were having company over today. Like, what is this mess? Okay, well, apparently we're having company over today. Um, I think Mortimer Goth is, is kind of investigating the house now because... Of this, because of, of the cow plant incident, the cow plant murder, the cow plant murderer, really. So I really kind of think that that's what they're there. Is that what they're, they're here for? Is that Mortimer Goth is kind of, you know, is is getting up, it's getting all up in my business, which would make Victoria feel very paranoid and. I don't even know what the heck's going on. I just know now that they're making out. Please don't go get food. I don't I don't even know what's going on right now in this house. Aiden, I really need you to cook something for me, babe. Please cook. Serve dinner. Serve chili. And then I think Victoria's gonna try to go ahead and actually kind of play the victim here. We're gonna, we're we're just gonna just kind of have a friendly introduction with him. And really and truly, just kind of play off this victim card really, really well. So. Well, Tucker Baby wants to cry again. But, oh, I don't know, I don't know, okay, this is Ryder. So, Ryder, no, please, can can we please wait till Aiden's done cooking our, our dinner, please? Um, go change his dirty diaper. Thank you. So, he's definitely very interested in, you know, in Miss... You know, in Miss uh, Livingston's, I am totally like a lost word right now. And right now, she is really just kind of letting it all go. Like, you know, it's. <sighs> and then Destiny's here again. Destiny. She looks so creepy in this lighting, like, help me. Hey, Destiny, babe. Oh, what's up? Okay. <laughs> no, don't go go watch a funny video with your sister. You can't be... Th you, 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 she can't even be down... She can't even be up here. Go downstairs and just ignore everything that you've seen.
and and honestly, just seeing those tickets just make her happy. Did I say tomorrow? I think I actually no. I think I think it should be on Friday. Friday sounds like a better day. Seems like a better day. So Friday will be prom, and that's super duper exciting. So and plus I have time to actually play everything that I need to play in the game. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead, she's going to socialize, we're gonna chat, and we're just gonna chat with somebody random on the internet, because, you know, that's totally safe. Totally safe. Hashtag Heike Aprios. Okay. <laughs> um, so Ryder's eating. No, that, that's Alec. Oh my god, there's so many sims in my game. It's so hard to remember which ones are which. Um, a haunty- oh my goodness, what was- okay, what was that tragic mess Anastasia was wearing to go to work? She does not look like a babysitter, she- oh, I don't- I, okay, we're not even going to get into that because... That just made me feel like all kinds of uncomfortable. <gasps> Why does she want to look at the tickets again? Ooh. What the- okay, what does that mean? What does that mean? Also as well too, um, once again, somebody has recommended something to me about- about Destiny running away, but, um, I actually kind of do have a different idea, um, in a way. I mean, at some point she will kind of leave the household, but not necessarily running away. So... That will be something that you guys will have to look forward to, as that will be something that will be thought about. So, that's fun. Always fun. Fun, fun, fun there, guys. Ooh, what are we talking about now? I don't even know what she's talking about. She's just like, honestly, she's thinking about prom. Ooh la la. Okay. So, Destiny is currently... I don't even know what she's doing. I just know that she's definitely... I'm really excited about prom because, I mean, she hasn't taken her eyes off these tickets. Like, they are, like, going to be her, like, um, her savior, in a way. So this is something that she's very, very excited about, is that she's going to go off to prom, and she's going to have a time with, you know, a time away and outside of this house. And now she grab a party for siblings. I mean, besides Anastasia, because Anastasia goes to a different school than Alec, Ryder, and Destiny do. So this is definitely going to be a great way for her. Okay, why is there a light bouncing off? This, this, this has no logic to it. <laughs> that that is that. Okay, that's that is just a mess. Okay, anyway, though, so Destiny is going to go ahead. Uh, let's just check on her needs actually. Oh, she's no, you're actually not hungry. You're just. Honestly, just really lonely and need somebody to talk to because I'm a horrible human being. So, <laughs> I feel so bad for her, but this is just kind of her life, though. It really is kind of sad and depressing. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go go use the body, and then we are going to go. Ooh, wait. Ooh, okay, okay. Wait, 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 like, this is all she's talking about. Maybe this is, maybe this is, like, her crush from school, or maybe. I, don't, I mean, I don't know who she knows from school, but. Meanwhile, Victoria is just so depressed. She doesn't even want to sleep in the same bed as her husband. <laughs> no, we're right over. Good thing, though, everyone's, like, away from school. Everyone. See, everyone's, like, sleeping, so, like, this is, like, this is, like, the optimal time for Destiny to just kind of, just kind of slip outside and get, and, and kind of get her mood lit from, 
from a um from uh, Miss Jasmine Holiday. I'm I'm actually kind of tempted to feed her to the cow. <laughs> Not gonna lie, Bethany, this is your next meal. Walk by, smell, sniff her in. Yes, like okay, like legit. The cow pine just like sniffed her in. Like, oh, that is a good sim to eat. <laughs> And Destiny's gonna go ahead. She's actually gonna ask, request for a boost. We're gonna request for a skill gain. Because she really wants to play the violin. And she's really bad at it. So, like, legit. Okay. Jasmine Holiday will, like, keep knocking at your door. Even after you get what you need from her. And then, oh my god, like, help. Okay, but we have to do this quickly because no one can see her. Okay, now send her away, like, no one can see you. <laughs> she is really just not feeling this, like, oh my god, like, help me. She's like, <laughs> look, Jasmine, I got what I need from you. You can go, please. And fuck not like that, but if you're not careful, the cow plant's gonna eat you, because it's already eating my dad. Destiny's just not having her week at all. I should, get along. I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. We didn't even hang out with you. We just asked you to do something for us, and then... So now we're gonna go downstairs, and we're gonna go sleep. We're gonna relock this door, so that way Destiny doesn't just leave whenever she pretty much feels like it. Because nobody... Nobody can can know about this door. Nobody can know where this door leads. Because people find out where this door leads, there will be hell. Hell will break loose. And everyone has like no idea where the heck their beds are. I mean, I wonder where the heck- Oh well, like at least Ryder's to be in the same spot. I didn't even- I actually didn't even give Anastasia a good room because, well, she's aging up anyways. <laughs> okay, and at least though now her Alex leaving that bed, so now I can actually go, go ahead and actually send him to his proper room. But, oh, this is- this, okay, messy. Messy. Okay, but yeah, so this is going to be an, an exciting couple parts, pretty much, because there, cause, yeah, no, there's going to be a lot planned. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this part, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, as well as a comment um, about what you want to see happen next, about, about what you want to see happen at prom, maybe, and all that fun stuff. As well as a, um, I don't even know. <laughs> um, oh yeah, don't forget to become a part of the Crafty Squad. We are either A, at 700 subscribers, or near 700 subscribers. As At the point I'm recording this, I have 798? That might have changed since I last checked. Um, we have currently... Yep, 698 subscribers. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs> Bye there, guys.